Hey, what is going on everybody? My fellow collectors, how are you all doing out there? Hope you guys are all doing well. This is Regan and thanks for tuning back into our channel. And I just want to greet you all a happy new year. Hope you guys had a great holiday and having a great start on this year 2023. Okay, so today we are going to unbox and review our very first figure from Hot Toys. And this is none other than another Iron Man figure from the Marvel Studios Iron Man 2 movie or MMS 600. Wow, 600 figures, guys. That's a lot of figures. Tony Stark Mark V suit up version, a 1-6 scale collectible figure. Deluxe version, so that's why the box is quite big. I'm supposed to pick up the Spider-Man as well, but the box of that is quite huge. Actually, it's huge. So I'm gonna pick up that later after I unbox this one or after I finish this one, okay? And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe, okay? Okay, let's get started. So this is the art box guys. It looks really really amazing guys. I mean I love the texture, that high quality of the picture looks really amazing guys. Look at that. See? Nice, very nice quality of the print I would say. Wow, this is amazing. So it's not the usual picture of Tony Stark or the figure but just the closer look or the close-up look of the armor which is really amazing guys i love it guys you're gonna love it too for sure okay and i love the color the red color like very iron man you know wow this is really nice let me show you guys the back part there you go it's very shiny and it's very neat doesn't have any scratches which is amazing wow amazing i'm excited to see this one this one is just only the front cover, I mean this art box. So I'm gonna slide it up. Wow, that is really nice. Very nice presentation of the packaging, very neat. Just a bit of scratches, I think it's fine. It's totally fine guys. But I love the presentation, right? See, very nice, okay? That is amazing. Let's take a look at the back part, nice. It's also amazing yeah but the box is quite thin i mean this one the other one the cover uh that one's quite thick but this one is quite thin so just be careful on you know touching it so at least if you want to uh preserve the art box uh, i'm just saying so see already saw some damage right here bam right so you can see right here very nice presentation of the packaging. I'm gonna start off with the instruction sheet. Right, so this is the instruction sheet and it's quite thick. Look at that, guys. Wow, okay. So let's open it. There you go. I could smell the new paper <laughs> wow mm, nice. mm, smells good wow. instruction sheet I'll show you guys first the bottom part two pieces this one is probably forearm armor. Looks good. Right there. Very nice details. Wow, the paint application looks really, really nice, guys. This one right here. So I'm not really sure what part are those. Uh, probably this one is from the chest. So, but later, um, we're gonna assemble that. And I'm gonna show you guys how you're going to assemble it. Here, this one is probably for the hips. Yeah, this one right here, right there. Yeah, this is the body armor. Looks really, really nice, guys. That is amazing. 
So that's the bottom packaging. Now let's open the main packaging. Okay, let's start with this one. This one is the fit part. This one is the leg armor. It's a movable parts like this one. There you go. Here is the tie part. Ah, this is really nice, guys. This one right here is the whole upper body armor with the chest reactor. Wow, this is really, really nice, guys. Love the details, it looks really, really nice. Some movable parts. And then right here, of course, the batteries. Probably this one right here, probably for the bottom part. This one right here is his suitcase. Yes, and looks like it has some you know, movable parts or you could articulate it. Wow. There you go. Nice. This is really cool. Damn. There you go. Wow. Very, very nice, guys. Amazing. Yeah, this one is the handle. There you go. It's amazing. Some adapter. This one right here is the forearm armor. Looks really good. This one is the helmet. Part of his helmet is the back part. Yeah, this one is the back part. I think so. Right here. So we're gonna get two pairs of extra interchangeable hands. Uh, two different gestures. Okay, holding there's something holding like this. Yeah, holding his suitcase and a fist gesture. Okay, nice. And then of course the figure. Bam. Wow, look at that suit. Damn. Very nice suit, guys. Wow. Love it. Perfect. Damn. Okay, let's uh, remove those foams. Right, so head up. Damn, very nice. Let me show you guys a closer look. There you go. Wow, very nice head sculpt, guys. Love it. They really mastered that head sculpt of Tony Stark. Okay, let me. Can remove the plastic later. Okay, nice. Very nice suit, guys. Look at that. Love it. So this is the base. So it has two prints. There you go. Wow. There's the holder. Right. So I think that's pretty much everything included in the box. So now I'm gonna check very quick the articulation before I attach the armor to the body. Okay. Okay, so let's do this very quick. I'm gonna remove first the plastic. There you go. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the head. Let's try to move his head. 360, slowly, it's very tight. Look down. So it doesn't have articulations on the lower neck part right here since the neck is connected to the upper body so it's like one whole body so, and then the joint is just here on the separate head sculpt right there very nice look up mm -hmm. that's it very limited range of motion i would say but i think it's fine you know not really really bad and then side tilt side yeah it looks fine it's amazing okay Wow. Dang. Amazing. This is amazing, guys. Okay, so now let's move on to the arms. All the way up to 90 degrees. There you go. And then this one's quite loose. Okay. And then to the front. 
Wow, that's very smooth. Wow, nice. Very nice articulations. Whoa, very nice quality, guys. That's a new material, right? On the body, see? Very nice. And then to the back, of course, there you go. Seamless, very nice. Okay. This. And then L uh, swivel. Yeah, there's a swivel. I think this arm is one whole arm. There's no extra joint here. So you could twist it, but because of the joint here inside, so not really a swivel because of this uh, shoulder part right here. Okay. Yeah, there you go. I think uh, I could feel it. See? Or maybe. Oh, it, no, no, no. Sorry. Yes, it has. It has some swivel. We could separate the movement of the biceps to shoulders. Yeah, so it has some joint here. Okay? So anyway, let's move on to the elbows. Bam! Double jointed. That is amazing, guys. Wow! This is amazing. Love the articulation, guys. Bing. And then the wrist. Yeah, this one, it has some uh, light up effects here. So that's why once you detach the joint, there you go. So it doesn't have any extra joint because the joint of that is different. Same on the other side. Okay. So that's it for the arms. Let's move on to the waist part. Waist. I think it's fine. Looks good. Okay. A bit limited, you know, I would say. Probably because of the you know the material or the suit. Probably it's like one whole suit. It looks like one whole suit, huh? aside from this one. I could feel. And then crunch in. Yes. That's it. Not bad. Arch. Nice. And then side. Yeah, looks good. There you go. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Very nice articulations on the waistline. See? I can feel the crunch in here. Okay. Let's move on to the legs. Open first. Of course, you can't. I mean, it is stretchable, but it looks like... Uh, looks durable, though. I mean, see? Right? Wow. And it's quite thick, I would say. You know, for this lower part. I think probably the whole suit. Because this one, I, I can feel that this one is a bit uh, thin. But this part right here on the pants is quite thick. So, yeah. See? Very nice. And then front to the front if you could lift it all the way wow nine degrees amazing right <laughs> and then to the back nah doesn't have it's so only to the front guys bam very nice okay and then swivel i think we can swivel that then let's move on to the knees up to Double jointed but not really close to the leg right there. I think it's fine. See? Looks okay. There you go. Very nice. I love the material of the suit. And then the ankle part. It looks good because it doesn't have any boots here. So you could really, you know, rotate the joint of the ankle wherever you want. Right there. Okay, nice, very nice, guys. Amazing, amazing um, articulations on this body. There you go. So that's it for the articulations. I think it looks fantastic. Okay. Okay. So the material that they use on the shoes is made out of plastic material. It looks really good. Looks nice. Love the extra details, dirt effect here. At the on the sole see right here nice and then right here this one the suit this part right here is pleather material and then stitched to the 
I mean tailored to this um, kind of like also pleathered material but it's more of like a plastic rubber material something like a spandex actually this one looks spandex too yeah see right here very nice material guys I really love it love the patterns the details very neat see wow good job at toys on this one so this part also is the same material that they use on this lower part on the of the pants see right here and this one oh no this one's the same very nice the details the prints actually the print too of that stark and then that 11 and 5 wow even at the back part i cannot see any like you know uneven part see it's very aligned see the patterns bam nice very nice okay wow this is really really nice guys amazing okay so that's it for the um the quality of the material that they use on these suits oh wait there's some hmm. oh, no, see usually there's some open part here right that you know that we usually saw from the uh, Spider-Man figures but this one doesn't have so it looks very very neat tailoring I would say see right there wow this is amazing again the zipper you cannot unzip that it's not movable I wish we could open it right but it's not probably because of the print so that's why they didn't you know put some extra zipper here right yeah, but I think it looks great yeah I think we don't really need to you know unzip that or you know zip up that so I think it's fine it's totally fine I really like this suit guys wow like for me it looks perfect you know <laughs> wow I really love this suit guys so I think that's it guys so now we're gonna All right so I'm gonna put first the batteries here wow okay so this one right here and there you go okay so before I attach the armor okay so let me show you guys first how we're going to transform this one into suitcase There you go. So that's how it looks like. So that's the full case. Okay. Wow. This is really, really amazing. And now let's open it again. So there's a lot of articulated uh, part on this suitcase. You will definitely enjoy it. There you go. Right, so there you go. This is how it looks like. So this is kind of like semi-open uh, suitcase that uh, you know Tony Stark starting to transform his suitcase. There you go. That's how it looks like. Now we're gonna insert this one right here. This um, kind of like a half one fort armor okay push it down like this wow amazing okay so that's how it looks like very nice details all right amazing look at those structure right looks really really cool okay and then we're gonna okay so this is the hand that we're going to attach it here there you 
정도 There you go Okay So something like this Okay That's how it looks like Wow Alright, so now we're gonna attach the armor to the body we're gonna do first the uh, set one or the first scene okay and this is where we're going to attach the batteries already attached the batteries here okay like this bam there's an extra piece right here that you have to attach it inside here something like this and next the front part but we have to remove this two piece right here this one this one okay and then we're gonna insert from the bottom touch this one right here we have to also insert this part right here up to here and then this one right here so we have to cover this part right here. This one. Okay, now let's change the hand. There you go. So done with the hand armor and then this time we're gonna pose him like this there you go okay so now let's move on to the second set okay on the second part uh, we don't need to remove the upper body armor so we're just gonna leave it there and we're just gonna attach those parts that we removed earlier like this one it's the first one here okay so that's how it looks like Then at the back, we have to remove the piece that we, you know, insert earlier. Then now, we're gonna insert a different one. This one is for the, uh, the spinal armor or the hip armor. And then we're gonna open this one first. Make sure to open this one. There you go. And then the hips right here. Other side, same. Okay, right there. Now the forearm. Okay, so it looks like, there you go. And there you go, bam. Okay, I think that's it. That's it. There you go. Bam. Alright, I think that's it. And my final thoughts on this Tony Stark Mark V suit up version, I would say this figure is absolutely incredible. 
you will definitely enjoy this figure once you have it in your hands especially assembling or attaching those armor on the body however there are some parts on the armor that you might gonna hate it or you might gonna you know feel annoyed while assembling it because it's so hard to attach it like probably you cannot really attach it like properly you might not gonna like that but uh, you know uh, you just have to be patient because it's also gonna eat a lot of your time so you have to be really patient but I think it's fine you know even if you cannot attach that part as long as it stays there it stuck there I think it's fun um, I mean it's really fine and you're gonna have fun you know playing with that but to be honest in my opinion you know hot toy should really try it first before sending it to the customer or to us collectors because you know even we tried our best we're gonna end up like sometimes breaking it you know uh, yeah I really like the suit you know I love the quality of the suit I think that's the point you know of for hot toys you know great job hot toys I wish all the upcoming you know figures will be like that and the articulation I would say the articulation is incredible it's just that once you attach the armor of course you cannot do that you know artic articulations maybe you can you can do some poses but not that much you know and lastly the head cup I would say it's fantastic you know it's already given you know that hot toys master that already that head cup of Tony Stark or you know Robert Downey Jr. which is really really amazing and if you're not happy with the head scalp, I mean you can you can always touch up if you really want to I mean if you can then just do it so yeah I think that's about it guys that's all I could say uh, let me know your thoughts on this figure feel free to comment down below and if you like this video this uh, unboxing interview please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet okay until then see you in the next one peace